at the Art Institute for years. I wanted a, a change, so I chose California. When I retired, I thought I was going to die because I couldn't get my mind turned around and I couldn't do anything. I didn't want to do anything, so I bought a blasted old TV and I sat there and looked at all the old pictures, marvelous old silent films every time they had them. Lord help me. I thought I could never, ever. It took me one year to settle down. I just left Chicago and came out here. <laughs> when you're away from everyone you know, uh, there's nothing else to do then, you mm -hmm. see, and you concentrate I on know. what you love to do. I decided then I would finally make a quilt. I always made things because Mother made things. Get up, girls. If the sun's in the heavens. What are we going to do today? You don't know the possibilities of creation till you go dive in and challenge yourself and guide yourself. It's like love. It's love. I arrange my fabrics according to colors. It's like a palette. You must know what you have. And by cutting the squares or the triangles, I can see my complete available palette. The point is to have meaningful colors. Some fabrics are uglier than sin, which I wouldn't have. I, th I would throw them away if they happen to appear in my closet because they're ugly. They're distracting. All these years of teaching, I was happy and I tried to make all my students happy. One of my students sent me a letter and said, art wouldn't be the same without me. Can you imagine? In order to arrange these, I have to have a board of some sort. You use felt. Felt's the best thing because uh, the squares, any shapes you're using, will stick to the felt. It adheres, there's enough friction, and I can move it. And you have to learn in your creation to use a form, form and movement and rhythm. And you have to make a unit, however little and unimportant it is. You get close, close values and contrasting values, then you'll get an all over effect in which there's a sort of a blurred center in here, something like painting. But I like to have all kinds of fun, and I like a little vibration, tintillation, and shimmering. And after a while, I have, I'm just all shimmers. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, because you, it, everything falls apart if you just shimmer and do nothing else in this world. Then you pick up a fabric that's a little more quiet and use it. The thing is, ever so often, in order to have a, a restful area in this world. You have to be quiet, right? Sit down and shut up.